Films TV præsenteres i samarbejde med Solid. Give a little of my heart, only then the beat will start. Keep and me in time. Life doesn't wait for long. Hey, Bo, what, what song is that? It's from my dream. That's sweet. The winding road. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tracy emailed me. Mm. Mm-hmm. The new couch came in. Mm-hmm. That's like a little greener than I thought. Mm-hmm. Probably just the pictures. Go around. Ah, this guy. Ja, sådan begynder den splinter nye tv-serie Believe med noget af et brag. To af filmbranchens største navne, J.J. Abrams og Gravity-instruktøren Alfonso Cuaron, står bag serien, der kan ses herhjemme på Seymour Series og gennem Seymour Play. Serien handler om den lille pige Bo, som til synlædende har overnaturlige kræfter, samt en tidligere fængselsfange, Tate. Da serien begynder, at Tate få sekunder fra blev henrettet for en forbrydelse, som han ikke begik, men pludselig bliver han reddet af en hemmelighedsfuld gruppe, som af mystiske årsager vil have netop Tate til at beskytte den lille bog. Der er nemlig en masse skumle folk, der vil udnytte den unikke pige og hendes særlige evner, og mens vi langsomt lærer mere om Tate og Bo, mens de er på flugt, såvel som Bo's særegne evner, ja, så begynder parts bånd også at blive stærkere. Og allerede i seriens første afsnit lærer vi noget helt særligt om deres tilknytning til hinanden, som naturligvis ikke skal afsløres her. Som det eneste danske medie fik Films TV forleden lejlighed til at slutte rekord med en af seriens hovedrollenhaver, Jack McLaughlin, som spiller Tate. Og ganske vist medvirker den 31-årige skuespiller i en tv-serie, som har nogle ret utrolige elementer, men McLaughlins egen livshistorie er også utrolig i sig selv. McLaughlin var soldat i Irak i hele fire år, indtil han en dag blev såret og var døden nær. McLaughlin tog hjem, overdynget med medaljer, men han kunne ikke få et bedre job end en plads på en lille fiskerbåd, før han fik et job som sikkerhedsvagt ved filmselskabet Universal Studios i Los Angeles. Med blot 1000 kroner på bankkontoen tog han til audition på krigsdramaet In the Valley of Ella. Han imponerede, fik en rolle i filmen, og siden da har en skuespilkarriere fået luft under vingerne. Vi lader lige McLaughlin fortælle nærmere os selv. There's so many people that are aspiring to be actors and all of that stuff, and, and it's a very competitive business. It's an extremely competitive business. If you don't get the audition, you know, you go out for an audition. If you're not in first, you're in last. You know, it's a, if you don't get the job, you don't get the job, and that's the bottom line. Hmm. But I always wanted to, and I uh, I dropped out of high school and took and I took my GED. And I went up to Oregon, worked on the crab boat, and I moved back down to North Hollywood, and I got a job at a at Universal Studios as a as a security guard. I guess I kind of had it in my idea. I think you hear the story about Steven Spielberg just kind of finagling his way onto the lower lot of Universal and just, you know, yeah. opening up his own office in there without anybody really knowing. And I kind of, I, I guess I, I, I don't know if I even knew that story at the time. I don't think that was something I found out until later. But I guess I, we kind of maybe had the same idea at this time of figuring a way to be in it, you know, around it and yeah. figuring something out, like maybe going in going in more of a backdoor way rather than trying to act your way into it. And then uh, and then I got, yeah, and then I got the, opp- the opportunity presented itself to me. And then and then from there, it was just a lot of sacrifice. You know, I got the part in the Valley of Ella, and, I, you know, my family told me today, they said, if you're going to pursue this, this that's the easiest you're going to ever have it, you know, getting the first gig that you ever auditioned for. There's just so many interesting parties connected to the to the show, of course. There's uh, Alfonso Cron, and there's also J.J. Abrams, and... Uh, J.J. Abrams, of course, is like renowned as the master of, of the mysterious. And I found this this sort of mysterious connection to you guys. I mean, I, I hadn't noticed this before, but you you did a small voice part for Cloverfield and you did a little bit part in Super 8. So is there any connection to you and J.J. Abrams? I just find that really interesting. Not, 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 not I mean, so he cast me in Super 8. I mean, he overall has the, you know... The, the the decision who who gets cast in in his in his films, but uh, 
Um, as far as Cloverfield's concerned, I don't know. I don't know that he had anything to do with that. The, they knew that I was in the military, and they had a bunch of um, voiceover stuff to do for you know a bunch of different scenes in the movie, where it's over the radio and military stuff. And so they knew I was in the military, so they asked me to come in, and I, you know, you can hear my voice over the over the loudspeaker on the helicopter or whatever on the uh, when everyone's going across the bridge and a couple other times in the movie. And that was fun. And then with with, uh, with Super Eight, I uh, I got cast in that. And when you audition for JJ's movies, if you want to like make something secretive, like uh, they gave me the sides for Super Eight, and, and I was, it was like this, this Air Force pilot that saves the day kind of thing. You know, that goes in and drops the bomb and all this stuff, and you know kills the the monster. And I thought for, when I got cast in that, that that was the role. But they were gen- they're generic sides that they give just to you know just to have people audition with. And I go out there to work to get to, I show up on set and I get there and they have sides, you know, for the, the scenes that you're doing for the day and you have to sign for those on hmm. JJ's movies. He, they're very, extremely secretive. Like, and you want, and you kind of want to be a part of that. You're kind of like, yeah, I'm going to keep it a secret too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Like, I, like I'm, in, I'm in the know, but nobody else is. So it's, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of fun. And you get there, and it was a totally different scene, and it was a scene that I did that was really just kind of a breathe. You just kind of breathe by me. In fact, when I went to go do the upfronts for this show, and JJ was sitting right behind me at the upfront, and he leans forward and he goes, "Who? Who?" It said, I, I, saw, I said that you were, it said that you were in Super 8. Who were you in Super 8? I was like, I would ask myself the same question because it was just like a, you know, it was just a really quick, you don't even see me. It was a really quick camera pan by. It was just, I, we, I, we were both laughing about that. It was, it was pretty funny. It could be cool if, like, in a, in a future movie of his, you, you're going to play the same character and we're going to find out that it's always been the same character you've been playing throughout all these movies who just magically pops up in all the right places at the right times. Yeah, yeah, hey, I, hey you know what? I wouldn't mind being in any one of his movies if I was just walk, walking around doing nothing, you know? I don't, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> cool. I'm a, I, don't, I don't have a big head. I'm a humble guy. I'll do whatever. <laughs> How hands-on is he during the process of, of making believe? Wouldn't, no, he hasn't been out on set yet. Alfonso's been out on set a couple times since we since we got picked up. But he's he's you know he he reads the scripts and he offer gives gives us notes and gives everybody notes on where you know on ideas and and they take them they take them seriously and he does. I mean, for a guy that has, this is clearly as busy as he is, you know, he's got got, got quite a few irons in the fire. He uh, he's surprisingly involved mm. as, to the extent that he is it's it's, it's um it's almost like he isn't human so maybe that's why he's good at this sci-fi stuff thank you for what watching me are you scared of me now everyone gets scared eventually johnny and i pretty much hit it off from the get-go she's uh she's a down-to-earth kid and so are her parents and that's uh I'm her little jungle gym that she likes to crawl all over in between takes, and and it was never anything that was ever forced at all because she's uh, they're such good people. They're just good people, and I and I connect well with good people. Mm. And so it's it's you know Johnny and I have a great, we have a really 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 great relationship. And I don't usually keep keep in touch with people that I work with, but definitely I would definitely be keeping in touch with with Johnny and her family. She's just a great kid and fun to work with. So no, the chemistry there is just, it, it's absolutely natural. I mean, I'm a, I'm a parent. I've been a parent for a long time. And, uh, well, it seems like a long time. I mean, I say a long time, but 11 years. And so it um, gives you those experiences. Like that I've always told everybody, you know, everybody asks me about acting classes and stuff like that. And I don't know. I think that the acting classes help you to apply reality to scenes, but, um, the best acting school, acting class you can go to is living life. You know, I, I really, I really, truly believe that because that gives you those experiences to draw from, and um, and having kids definitely helps me with scenes with Johnny. Det var alt for denne gang på Films TV. Husk at Believe kan ses herhjemme i øjeblikket på Seymour Series og via Seymour Play. Du kan selvfølgelig læse mere på seymour.dk. På redaktionen har vi kun set seriens pilotafsnit, og selvom der ikke er sket så meget endnu, så kan man bestemt ane et stort potentiale med så store kreative kræfter bag kameraet. McLaughlin håbede selvfølgelig også på at få en anden sæson at gøre godt med, men den har altså endnu ikke fået grønt lys. Tak for denne gang, og på gensyn! Husk at du kan finde alle vores tidligere Films TV udsendelser på Films under Films TV fanebladet og også på videovideo.dk i iTunes og via vores gratis Video Video app.